In this tutorial, we'll walk through uh, a brief overview of what your organization will look like when first logging in. Uh, so your login is the same as it is for your academic uh, Blackboard. Once you've logged in, you will see an Organizations tab right next to your Courses tab. And then if you've waited 15 minutes since completing track training, you will automatically be enrolled in any organizations you were enrolled in in OrgSync with those leadership positions. So I'm going to go to Organizations where I am a leader and the Student Government Demonstration page. Uh, right now the edit mode is on. I'm going to turn it off for one moment. So now that the edit mode is off up here in the upper ha uh, right hand corner, this is what your organization will look like to all members, whether they have a leadership position or not. Uh, our home page is the announcements, just as it is with courses. Uh, now turning our edit mode back on. Turning the edit mode on allows you to create changes, add content to your organization. Uh, like you can see right here, you can create an announcement on your home page. Uh, we also set up a calendar. It's uh, very convenient. It has all of your classes and any other organizations included on yours. You can check which ones you want to view. Um, but the only ones displayed will be obviously the ones that members are part of. Um, you can add a calendar event by clicking the arrow in the, or the plus sign in the upper right hand corner. Just be sure that you add it to the correct calendar you are a leader of. Clicking Save, all members in your organization will be able to view that. It's a great tool for connecting on when meeting times are or any other volunteering events or other events you have planned. Next, we have our Files tab. The only file you will be required to have in your Blackboard organization will be your organization's constitution. I will show you how to upload that in an upcoming tutorial. Next, you have your content page in which you can add files, uh, as you can see we have here, or photos, or polls, or really um, just a, a, a multitude of tools here. Next, we have our discussions page. This just allows you uh, another form of communication with your group. You can create a, uh, a form to basically start discussion on any topics you have coming up. Next, we have our roster, which is automatically pop populated with who is enrolled in your organization. Uh, it's a little funky at first because it appears that you have no uh, users, but all you have to do is change our contains drop down menu here to not blank and then hit go and it will show you your full roster uh, without including yourself in that list. Next, if you go down to um, Tools here, Tools has uh, the plethora of tools that um, Blackboard has available to our organizations. Um, really, you can use whatever ones you want. You also have a Help menu down here that will link you to our Blackboard Help, um, well, basically through the general Blackboard site, uh, Frequently Asked Questions, and etc.